Hello again gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm going to be doing a review here of another role-playing game product, another flip mat from Paizo. So real quick, I do want to say I've got a bunch of links in the description down below that you can check out at your leisure. There's a link to my Patreon, there's a link to my Teespring store, and there's a link to BoardGameCaptain.com, which is a great hub for all things Board Game Captain. And I want to give a big thank you to Paizo for sending me this product, the Flip Mat Jungle Multi-Pack to check out and review. So now usually when you buy one of these flip mats, you get one flip mat, which means two maps, because it's one two-sided, um, to be able to play with. This one comes with two two-sided maps. It's a little bit more expensive, of course, but it's actually cheaper than getting two of these uh, separately. So usually one of these is about uh, $15, you know, like uh, $14.99. This is $24.99. So it's only $10 more to get a whole extra mat where normally two flip mats would be 15 each so it, it feels like you're getting a little bit of a discount there so let me read the back it's a jungle out there what forgotten mysteries await in the jungle pathfinder flip mat jungle multi-pack provides ready to use captivating jungle scenes for the busy game master and your heroes explore an overgrown ruin or hidden waterfall, or seek shelter in a village, these four different combat maps will have you covered. Don't waste your time sketching when you could be playing with Pathfinder Flip Mat Jungle Multi-Pack. You'll be ready next time your players head out into the jungle. This set includes two flip mats, each measuring 24 by 30 inches unfolded and 8 by 10 folded. A flip mat's coated surface can handle any dry erase wet erase, or even permanent marker, usable by experienced GMs and novices alike. Pathfinder flip mats fit perfectly into any Game Master's arsenal. I do want to say uh, that I disagree with them uh, touting the use of permanent markers on this as a feature, because I would never use permanent markers on one of these flip mats. I do know, of course, there is the trick of if you use permanent marker, you can draw over wherever you used it with dry erase, and that'll loosen it up so that you can then erase with it. But that's something that happens on anything you can use dry erase markers on it should not really be touted as a feature it is what it is i like that there is a trick to get rid of it if you accidentally use it other than that i always use dry erase markers with these and they work great now coming with two is really cool i like that this comes with two mats uh in addition i mean my, my thoughts were well okay well how different are these mats gonna actually be i mean it's four mats the jungle uh what kind of stuff do they have in there these are amazing I'm going to run you through all of these. So the first one I'm going to show you here, uh, and again, in addition to showing them out big here, I'm going to be also uh, showing close-ups on the screen. So this is the first mat. Now the first mat here, as you can see, it's got jungle paths, it's got a hill, it has a village with a fire pit in the middle and a bunch of huts. Very cool. You flip this one over, and you've got something totally different different part of the jungle here including a giant sinkhole with a spiral pathway going down into the sinkhole uh with a river that flows down into the sinkhole there's also a path around it in through the jungle and there's some down trees going over a stream so uh, right to start with these are two very different maps on each side of this flip mat so that is really cool the other flip mat again has two now the first one we've got here is probably the most standard jungle flip mat of the four. It is a, a bunch of jungle. There's a lot of paths. I do like that. There's some cliffs going down and also there's a big river. And again, you have some logs across the river for spots where you can cross the river. Now you do need a, a just general sort of jungle scene amongst these four mats. And this is the one that does it. But the other side becomes very different. So the other side is some ancient ruins in the jungle. Because why are you in the jungle if not to look for treasure in ancient ruins? I ask you. And this is this is my favorite of all the maps, actually. I really like this one. Uh, it's got the most distinctive features in it, in my opinion. Because in addition to the ruins themselves, there's an ancient ziggurat-style temple with a big uh, draconic or demonic-looking statue on top, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I really like this map a lot. Lots of really cool little distinct features, and I do really like that big statue on the ziggurat. This is a great pack. If you are planning on running a part of your game in a jungle, or if you're running a campaign that's going to very much be in the jungle, or you're just looking to increase your repertoire of, of flip mats to have some jungles, 
this is a great pack to get. And again, it's cheaper than buying two maps that it comes with. It comes with two maps. Very much like this. Um, and I very much like that each of the four maps are very distinct and different from each other. There really is a lot of variety, a lot of doobly-doos, a lot of interesting things down on the maps that I, I really like, a lot of gribblies. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of these. Uh, this pack, which lets you very affordably get four maps to play with because of the two double-sided maps um, at $24.99, I think is phenomenal. I'm going to give this pack 9.5 stars out of 10. I really like this one a lot. Uh, yeah, it, it, this is a no-brainer if you're ever thinking you might run games or even a whole campaign in a jungle setting. Absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended. Uh, let me know what you think of the Footmat Jungle Multi-Pack in the comments down below. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, feel free to comment down below. And if you enjoyed my review of a role-playing game product and you'd like to see me do more like this, be sure to give it a like, share it on all forms of social media, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain. That's Captain's Ball the K on YouTube. And until next time, game on.